Hi everyone and welcome to our home. Today I'm going to show you around in the house where we live. It's a house that we've been renting now for roughly seven months and that we are going to continue renting so it's our home for, for now. And uh, I'm excited to have you here as our guest. I have cleaned a little bit but uh, don't judge me, <laughs> I'm not the uh, biggest fans of cleaning. Uh, either way, at the end of this video I'm going to show you what's in my fridge and I've seen quite a few of my friends do this on Instagram. I think it's fun, so I thought you might enjoy it as well. And yeah, let's start the tour. We're here in the entrance hall, so it's a good place to start. So we've come to the end of the tour and it's time for me to share with you what's in my fridge. And I have organized it a little bit, but it's more or less the way it usually is. So let's have a look what's inside. 
Okay, so let's talk about the top shelf first. And um, this is where we keep most of our condiments, sauces, spread. So we have Tabasco, this is a store-bought taco sauce. This is an old satay type sauce. There's mustard, curry paste back there. It's panna and curry paste. And we have bean curry paste as well. And then I made these carrot and chickpea spreads, which are coming in a breakfast ebook later on this month. So stay tuned for that. And then this is a beetroot and blueberry compote that I made also for that book. And then there is some vegan caviar and some capers at the back and also a bunch of various uh, homemade uh, pickle projects. So this is some um, peppers and there's radish and aubergine and beetroot back there and some jalapenos which is Rob's favorite. I eat a few but not too many. And yeah, this is a kind of beetroot mayo that we made for Christmas, actually. I don't know if it's still edible, but it smells fine. And I had it the other day and I'm not sick, so I think it's okay. I guess that says something also about our approach to when things are old. <laughs> we taste it. And if it tastes okay, it's okay, usually. So that's the top shelf. Then we move on to this bottle shelf. And usually this is full of our homemade kombucha, but we are have been a bit lazy, so that's still brewing. And Rob's keeping some vegan white wine here, and his collection of sriracha sauce. There's the uh, original kind of red one, and then we have this whoop, sriracha mayo. I don't know if you've tried that, but it's actually really nice, and it's vegan. We have some tomato puree or paste, and we have some organic ketchup, which we don't use that much, but sometimes it's good to have like in a barbecue sauce or something like that. And then moving on to the little shelf below, we have some cooked lentils. That's left over from a recipe I did. I highly overestimated how many lentils I would need. So now we're gonna eat lentils for days and days, but that's okay. And then we have some defrosted berries. Here's some boxes of dates. Um, great for making like energy balls or other kind of bars and in smoothies if you want something sweet. It's great for making treats. And then we have something very exciting. It's our homemade tempeh. Our friend Agatha was so nice, she came here and taught us how to make it. And it looks pretty good, doesn't it? So we're gonna eat that later tonight. And here, and here is some uh, leftover cornbread that I made. And here we have a whole collection of oatly custard for some reason. We do like it, but I don't know why we have four packets at once. And we also have some uh, Thai red chilies. I think they're Thai red chilies. Those ones aren't so red though, <laughs> I don't know. And that's the top part of the fridge. Moving on to the lower part. We have mushrooms, I have shiitake and chestnut mushrooms. We love mushrooms. I could eat mushrooms every day. <laughs> and um, we also have some tomatoes. These are some tofu bacon bits I made. And the recipe for these, by the way, is on my blog. I can link it in the description box if you want to make them. It's really easy and tasty. Great on salads. Then we have some homemade kimchi here. Not much left, we are kimchi fans. And here's some homemade red cabbage sauerkraut and some homemade apple chutney, more taco sauce or chunky salsa, some pickled cucumbers, Rob's favorite. He loves to have it on his toast. If he has like uh, say that carrot and uh, um, chickpea spread, he'll put that on top. So yeah, we both like it, but it's Rob's favorite. 
Then we have some pickled beetroot that I bought at the store. And these are some preserved peppers from last summer. I haven't uh, eaten them yet. I don't know why I should use them for something. And this bit part here that looks a bit gross is oil, but it's just to preserve the, the pepper so that it doesn't build mold or something on top. And that was that. <laughs> Are you bored yet? <laughs> so let's go down here to the vegetable drawer place that doesn't have drawers at the moment. Here we have uh, mixed uh, lettuce. I also have some rocket. Unfortunately, we can't buy this not in a plastic bag. We are buying the food from the supermarket here and there's no farmer's market anywhere close as far as I know. So. Plastic is unfortunately used a lot. And we have some Brussels sprouts. Great for roasting or just chopping up in salads. We have some cabbage, which is an awesome vegetable that grows here in Sweden or can last here in Sweden even through the winter, which is great. So it's usually quite cheap also. We have some celery, which I used in a shepherd's pie recipe that I made for my blog. And I can link that down below too, if you want to check it out, it's really good. And back here I have some beetroot, another thing that is very seasonal in Sweden in winter time. Continuing on the seasonal trail is, uh, we have a lot of curly kale great for kale chips or salads or soups or stews or bakes. You can put it in anything really. And some carrots. We always have carrots. We love carrots and my sister's dog loves carrots so we share. <laughs> and some cauliflower which I also used in that shepherd's pie recipe. And that's it for the vegetable shelf. And I think we just have the door left and I shall let you go. Magically, we're by the door. But before I go on, I want to say that there are some things that we keep in the pantry rather than the fridge, like uh, pumpkin or squash or um, other root vegetables like sweet. We have potatoes, sweet potatoes. We keep that in, in the pantry rather than in the fridge. So we do have some of that. But now we're at the door and it's not that much. We have some oat milk. We have some oat yogurt. Uh, this is a block of marinated tofu, which is really nice, just baked or in scramble or to make those bacon bits that I said, but you could also use um, plain tofu for that. Then we also have some of this oat creme fraiche. As you can see, we're a fan of the Oatly brand in this family or couple. We're not family. Are we family? I don't know. Um, here is some creamed coconut, which I used to make some chocolate at one stage. I have to come up with another use for it though, because it's just sitting in my fridge. And then we have some milk-free margarine, like vegan butter. I don't use it that much, but I think it's good to have on hand. And yeah. Then, last but not least, are three little things here. There's a locally made habanero uh, hot sauce and here is some fresh mint Oi, maybe it's time to use it up since the leaves are falling off but usually it lasts really well if you put it in a glass of water with uh, some plastic covering it and behind that the last thing my secret stash of some dark chocolate I love chocolate but who doesn't I guess <laughs> Okay, that was it. That was the fridge. That was the home tour. I really hope you enjoyed it and uh, some of you requested it, so you're welcome. <laughs> and thank you also for requesting a video. It's really nice to hear from you and hear what you want to see, so thank you for that. And yeah, now I'll go on with my day and I hope you will too, so take care. See you next time.